Welcome back to combocasting.com. Today I wanted to talk to you about using Keynote in your ScreenFlow videos and getting set up for making a video series. Now, when you're making a video series, you're probably, you know, attacking a certain niche and, uh, you know, adding those to your website, which has a specific purpose in mind. This kind of all goes to branding as well. And as you can see before me here, I have a branded Keynote template for a site that I'm sort of redesigning and I'm creating a new video series for the site is about six or seven years old. And like I said, I'm going to be redesigning this whole online brand. But one thing that I wanted to point out to you today that when you are doing a series with a branded background, that one of the easiest ways to do this is of course using uh, ScreenFlow and Keynote together. But in Keynote, I like to create what's called a template. And you can see here in my uh, folder for Poker Sit and Go Report, I have a video template. Actually, let's save this because I was playing around with it. As you can see, I have a branded 1280 by 720 background. But what I really wanted to point out that's really going to save you a lot of time in your ScreenFlow productions is to create these asset files. And this is why I call this file a, a video template because I basically start with this template on all my subsequent videos when I write and create the video. And so what I'd like to show you here is a couple of pages within this template that have certain assets that I'm going to use throughout the whole series. Here, for example, is my poker table. And I even have my logo on the table and I even have the font sort of picked out and matching to the logo. So everything sort of works together. So every hand that I go through and I describe and I you know, create a tutorial for is going to be using this table. Not only that, I'm going to go further because I'm using the same card backs. I'm using the same card styles. And if you've ever seen some of my poker tutorials before, you'll see that I use a lot of buttons and uh, descriptions right on the table uh, to help show what a player is actually doing. And basically all of these assets together are some rather standard elements of a table that I'm going to be using in every video. So as far as branding goes, no matter what tutorial I'm working on, the videos are going to look the same and people will instantly recognize them as you know, something that belongs to myself and Poker Sit and Go Report. Here's a bigger uh, selection of cards. So sometimes I use bigger cards on the table, depending on the size of the table or, you know, what hand I'm focusing on. I also go as far as keeping my titles and headers, you know, in a basic position, basic sizing and colors consistent throughout the video series as well. So basically, I get all of this stuff together before I start making any videos. So let me just show you an example here. So as you can see, I just copied the template over. I've renamed this file, what is a three bet, and I've saved it in my same, you know, Poker Sit and Go report file. So frame by frame, I just start working on my script down here in the notes section, and I bring in the assets that I'm going to need. And then I also start adding my effects in the keynote layout as well. And then in ScreenFlow, I can add any other assets over top of this background layer. So you can't even help yourself but properly brand your videos and just add that longevity to the life of the content that you're putting up on YouTube or anywhere else. Okay, that's it. Take care. It's Marty Smith from combocasting.com. Talk to you soon. Ciao.